um, which is uh, a little surprising to be honest to me that I'm doing this because um, uh, hang on, let me just check the readme. Just the yard. Dum dum. Only difference between difficulties is loot goal. So, alright, let's go for normal. Which we don't have a loot goal yet. <laughs> uh, so, I've got plenty of uh, stuff. So, it's a little. Hang on, I'll stop. Uh, it's a little surprising to me that I'm doing this. It's kind of... I don't know if you saw my uh, Let's Play. I've found the opening of this really frustrating. Uh, now again, I will, you know, no blackjack, no sword, no weapons at the beginning. It's basically forced ghosting in... Uh, Broad daylight with a lot of enemies in very confined spaces. Basically, four things that each together makes the situation. More hostile and uncomfortable. Oh god, this is just like you clatter on the floor the moment you get out. Let's go out this way. Um. Four things that all, you know, individually make a area more hostile, and then you put them all together, and the, the start of this mission is really quite terrible. I really, I really dislike it. I don't think it's good at all. Uh, I don't think it's a good concept. I don't think it's well executed. I think it's really quite done it. But there's a lot of imagination and stuff going on elsewhere in this mission, and I do want to explore that underground citadel, keep whatever place more because I kind of was freaked out by the thing down there last time and didn't really go down and take a look. I think there's even a way to banish it. Um, maybe based on what I read. Uh, and the other thing is this turns out this has two pages which I didn't know when I did the let's play because there's no indication on this paper they've decided to use as their thing. So uh, Blah blah blah. I won't read it out. Install a ladder allowing safe access to the underground aqueducts. Good, good. Okay, nothing, nothing terrible that I missed out on, but uh, did miss out on something. I thought it was a water arrow. No, such luck. So. Very few patches of darkness, and it doesn't make any sense, uh, honestly, that there's darkness, like, in broad daylight. Patches of full darkness. The way that Thief's, um... Light mapping works. Oops. Quiet there. Hmm. Did I see something? Me? Huh. Too many damn rats around here. I mean, these light mapping doesn't do radiosity, so um, as far as I can tell, so you don't get a lot of bouncing light lighting up places. Truly, places like this should not be. Yeah, you're gonna see me, aren't you? Hmm. I guess it wasn't much after all. So with these light mapping, you can get patches of darkness. All right, uh, I need to get to the factory first. So let's. You better just keep. Uh, da -da -da -da. Look for someone there, but luckily this time I can quick save and quick load and make sure I do it perfectly. You know, through the magic of time travel. I mean, look, I love look at this architecture where everything's sort of kind of all like crowded on each other, overlapping, constructed seemingly randomly. I love that. It's just it's just all so close and tight. It just doesn't. Uh, 
See. It's just annoying. I need to go down there. I need to get into the factory because I need to. Um, oh, no, they're coming back. In the factory, I need to get the gear. Like, luckily, I already know this. So I don't have to find it out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Why don't you be more noisy so I know when you're gone? I guess there's a little bit of darkness here, but not enough for me to see through. I guess you can see through the door there, maybe, when he walks by. Oh, there he is. Conveniently just standing here watching this way. That's helpful. Go away. Alright. Can I make my move now, or... Is he going to stop out there and turn around as well? So from here... Did you notice that? Wait, isn't the gear at the top floor? Where did he go now? Box, I think it is. Come out here now! I'm not kidding. Guys, up there alert, look. Alright, well. Guess I need to wait for the gun down. While I get stuck. Oh, no, the gear's in there, okay. Flash mine, like, what use is a flash mine? It'll just alert everybody. Oh, I do need to go to the top. me. This is no good because I can't get through. Wait, is that lever a thing I can... Yeah, that is. Thought I could get through there. Nothing in the water. Alright, well... I hope you don't find me, dude. That's what I need. <laughs> now the problem is, I need it outside somewhere, and then I can get out there. Dang it! We can wait, Tapa. We can wait. Then you wait. I need to wait for the guy upstairs to go out. You can't hide for long. God, this is devious. <laughs> Standing on the table now, you think I'll eventually find you, so why don't you just come on out? Oh, you lost me, did you? Lost him. You walk backwards onto a table and put your head behind the switches. You, boy. Okay, I think the guy upstairs just went out. Alright, now can I get can I get down there safely? I don't know. You know you can't hide forever. Well, someone saw me. Oh, there he did. Oh, where even were you? Lost him. 
Good. I need to go back outside. Eventually find you, so why don't you just come on out? Uh, yeah, nothing I need there. Because you've got a sword, and I am, um, unfortunately, rather uh, pervious to sharp instruments. Good, alright, they've all come, calmed down somewhat. Lots of flares in this mission, which I do appreciate. Considering it's... Oh. Let's, let's put the gear in. Alright, um... Can't remember if there was anything up here. Oh, there was. Once you get rope arrows, you can get up there. When you don't have rope arrows, it's kind of risky. And in here, there was moss. I think that was it. Just one moss. Okay. Right. So, in the sewers, or well, in the entrance to the, the sewers, we're going to go in that pipe in just a second. So, firstly, knowing what I needed to do here obviously made it a lot easier, as usual. Secondly, so I didn't have to go and find out that I needed this gear and then go find it. You know what? I can come back here. We'll come back here later in the mission anyway. So I can knock out everybody out there once I get the blackjack. And uh, then I'll be able to come and deal with all this stuff more easily. Uh, look for loot and stuff out there. So I don't think this one has any secrets. Um, Alright. Now we got a blackjack, of course, but it's a bit late for those guys. That's locked, so I don't get the key yet. I have to remember the primary way around here. Not down there, that's for sure. Um. Oh wait, is it down there? Ah! Nope. There is one, yeah, the one we have to go down is has deeper water. And there's a hatch there, it doesn't even actually look like a hatch, but uh, we can open it later. Okay. As far as I recall, there was nothing out here. Except blackness. We have these guys. Oh, they're eating a person. Hello. What are you looking at? What you'll see is the haft of my sword across your brow if you don't scram. Right, what sword? But okay, fine. Scramming. I'm gonna scram, I'll scram. No, I'll come and stare again. <laughs> what are you looking at? Alright, alright. What you'll see is the haft of my sword across Alright, that's closed. This is the one. I'm scramming. This is the way to go. This can be opened with a switch somewhere. Which way from here? Yeah, that looks a little too far for safety. All right, well this way was way to get stuck. So not down there, alright, I guess we do drop down here. Oh, I should do that. Oh, that's right, this is the first of the many uh, bottomless caverns. Let's drop a flare down and see how deep it is, shall we? Um, very, but not, not, you know, not, I fell, hit the bottom fairly quickly, it's not terribly deep. Um, and the first of the really awkward platform. I mean, I love the feel of this place, but I don't like the construction. But... And 
and I think there's something up here. No. No. Why did I think there's something up here? Oh, this that's where we need to go once we get the robot news. Okay. Squeeze past an edge. Woodley. sound was supposed to be. More flares. And three rope arrows. Right, so that's what we need to get further up. There may be more loot. I don't know. I'm not really bothered. Careful. Save before jumping on in case this one also has the uh, throw you off the rope. Oh. See, there's an error a bit where you know thieves kind of wonky physics works for me. That's clearly not stuck in the plank, but it practically is. So. Right, so that opens this gate and it also opens this is just where we came from, right? And also opens one on the other channel. Those guys are gone. Leaving only half a corpse behind. I guess they weren't that hungry. And there's a rat. Hello, rat. Um, and this conveniently takes us to a room we can get out before. So now we can get through. Still don't have that. I still won't be able to open that until we get the lockpicks. Which is a long way off. Alright, so. I need to jump in here. And not die. And let's hope I can do this properly without dying this time. Because depending on exactly where I sat for this lever. I died when I hit that. When the teeth of the gate came near me. But it seems like oh, that's what I need. The key, nothing else. Yeah, it worked this time. I don't know why it killed me so many times the first time I tried, but uh, it did. Problem solved. Uh, we can open it later. Cheese. Message about trapping rats. To sell them. Where's that key? No, oh, wait, it's not that. It's not that one. I thought it was something. Oh wait, is it the one back up there then? Maybe just maybe I'm misremembering which which key goes where. Yep. Try that jump again, Garrett. No, don't fall backwards off the pipe. Sigh. Like, if uh, diagonal jump is the best way to get around. Alright, that's from here. I don't think this opens anything else. I'll hang on to it just in case. I don't remember the keys in this map well enough. Furnace room. Ah, oh, and the zombies. We get the keys to that door later. And this, you think it's going to lead me to my death, but it thankfully doesn't. Quite. 
quite nice if mission was not to make it a death trap. After all the other death traps I've just been going past. Alright. Speaking of death traps. Dangerous area. Yeah. It's also dark there. Uh, frozen pipes are fine, but red hot pipes are not. This is the logic of video games at work. Alright, made it. Um, bottomless pits are probably to be best, best avoided. Although, I don't know. Yes, definitely best avoided. <laughs> If you can't see the bottom, don't jump down. I think it's the rule for this map. Although I can barely see anything. Like I've got the gamma turned quite a long way up because uh, it was quite bright in here earlier. It's up brighter than it should be actually. But uh, you can see that uh, the amb there is no ambient. Everything is absolutely pitch black. construction here, there's the uh, eyes in the darkness. This thing trying to creep me out. Which isn't gonna work. Okay, that's the way forward I think. Now, do these does these open anything? There's a red door there, right? You think maybe Maybe you can open the red door by blowing it up with a barrel? Is it actually a door? No, it's not. Maybe this door opens up with barrel by blowing it up with barrels? No, nothing there opens. I don't have any fire arrows anyway, so. Although, you don't need fire arrows to set off these. I think. Yeah, they don't blow anything up. Missed opportunity, really. Give us flares, give us exploding barrels, and nothing happens. Maybe you can blow up these crates and there's something behind them. You know, if you push one of these all the way there. What do these exist for? I mean... Maybe they don't subscribe to the, uh... Put something in the mission that has to have a meaning and purpose. Oh god, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Garrett, stop trying to walk up the barrel, just push it. So, well, this is why these should be carryable by default. Yeah, sure, they're yeah, heavy, but uh, um, you can make it slow you down when carrying them. But this is going to be really interesting to watch. As I walk back and forth and nudge it two inches every time, all for something which is actually not going to work because I bet those don't explode. Um, you know that I'm just wasting my time here, any old time. Well, you get you can choose to watch or not, so you can't blame me for wasting your time. You can only blame me for wasting my own time on this. Uh, I've got nothing else I can do at the moment, so I replay these thief missions instead of playing new ones because new ones would mean you. It's not even moving anymore. Is it jammed on something? Ah, that's close enough. Surely it's a useful blast radius now. New ones would mean I'd have to edit them. Come on. Look, it didn't blow up anything. Um, well, I'd first have to choose ones to play. I'd have to do it more seriously. I'd have to edit them. And none of that, all that is kind of more than I uh, can take on just now, so I am play, replaying these ones because conveniently they had stuff I missed that I kind of wanted to see without lots of terrible death. I guess I don't get to choose about the terrible death. 
って。Get to choose, but lots of terrible death bit. God, this mission would be impossible without quick save. Like, I'd like to see someone try an Iron Man thief this one. All right, this is our first trip into the uh, the odd, I guess we can call it. Right, that's the mission's called. There's nothing under there. Uh, so we can't open that door yet until we get the other key. There's the goth poetry, which I'm not going to look at this time. You can see in the LP, there's a water arrow in here and I think nothing else. Very, very generous one water arrow. I don't know if there's anything that it actually uh, is used for. The other thing is, look at, look at this, look at this, look at this mishmash of textures, it's like... Got three different roof textures for this rock wall, various carvings, more sculpted walls. It's textures all over the place. Now, I, as an aesthetic, it's it seems quite strange and random. It's also very, very fitting. I think it's very like they didn't use that many textures in one spot in the original Thief. Generally, not quite as random, but it conveys a very similar feel. To the uh, original thief missions. You can hear a crowd today. Okay, so um, unless there's stuff to collect that's important this time through, uh, I think that I think this other might become important later in terms of banishing the beast. But the beast isn't out yet. And I don't have a lockpick, so I can't open these things. And this area I can only get through later. And now I know there's guys that creep me up. First time, just have painted faces. They're not actually that scary. Now, is there something in these eyes? No. There's a door here, which I can't open until later. Oh wait, or is that, maybe that's the one I get the key for now. Uh, more. Death statue, more doors, most of which I can't open. Wait, where do I go from here? I've forgotten. That one has the monster, the goblin monster behind it. Wait, is, oh, there's a key. Was there a key on this altar? Yes. Old looking, old looking key. Doesn't open it opens the door back where we came in. So this is just a sneak preview, and when we come back, this place will be horribly populated. Not heavily populated. Only only four AIs as far as I know, but horribly. All right. Yes, was that not more rip arrows? Yeah, now we got four. Um, more death statues, more candles. Probably good for those to be turned off. Why do you give me a rope arrow when there's a functioning lift? Well, the lift doesn't actually go very far. That's Should be too hard to find a spot to climb out of this place. Yeah, like right here. All right, when we come back here, this will be populated as well. Another rope arrow in case I missed the first one. And. I later get the key for this when uh, that guy is no longer there, but instead the shambling mummy is there instead. I wonder if there's anything on top of that roof. I don't know. There's a very, very linear kind of progression this mission. Um, it's not bad. Um, I do think Thief missions should aim to be, you know, generally better when they aim to be open-ended, but uh, perfectly reasonable choice if you want to tell a linear kind of story to have a linear kind of structure. But that's the other downside of this mission. It has a lot of great ideas, a lot of 
a ton of atmosphere. The odd architecture that is really annoying in many places adds a ton to that atmosphere as well. Um, I wonder if I put a repair up there. Is there anything up, up there? We can take a look. Tons of ideas, tons of atmosphere, but a lot of problems that, that uh, well, I had so much trouble with it the first time when I was pl trying to play without constant saves coming and without knowing what to do, also important, that uh, I gave it a very low gameplay score because of all the, well, the opening, all the tight geometry, a lot of problems, but I gave it the highest atmosphere score. Um, that I could. And this moment, when you come out of that, first come out of that darkness and you see daylight and hear birds, it's really great. Really great sense of, um, progression. Hello, did I come up here before? I guess this must be. I guess it must have. This must be the normal way out. Was there anything down back down there then? Did I miss something? Oh, you go for a statue and a candle and a preview into that room. Okay. Um. Yeah. When I was when I was, you know, voting for the missions. Um, when I did the Dark Project 20th anniversary, I just used, ranked everything by, you know, on a single scale, one to four stars, and then just trans translated that into the 30 points. Hello. Um. What is that noise supposed to be? I don't know, maybe a thing in, maybe the thing in there. Oh, so there's nothing else in this room? Well, I guess means the rest of the manor. Which I think is where I need to go. Oh, I've got the blackjack and I'm happy to knock people out this time. This is gonna be so much more fun than last time. So maybe that maybe that's the thing. Maybe this mission maybe part of my problem with this mission is I was just not trying to trying not to blackjack everyone and it's the construction and everything is much, much harder in that. When you're doing things that way, I mean, in some sense, you can say that's my own fault. <clears throat> oh, something there. Murderer! Hey, oh, that's not good. I didn't realize two of you were coming here. I didn't pick up the body in time, so it's all right. One patch of darkness, you'll both have to stay invisible there. Uh, that's the other one there, isn't he? Who's there? <clears throat> it's actually dark enough down there. Alright, um, I was in the middle of saying something and I've forgotten what, oh yeah, the uh, scoring. So, scoring out of, do I have a loot goal? No, I still don't. I thought the mission objective said the only thing different was the amount of loot and the loot goal. But I guess maybe... Even that doesn't properly apply. Um, 
So it could go down there as a, as a quick way down. Why not, actually? Can I get in that tree? Any, any other loot there? Yeah, what else got in this mission? Like this time around, uh, I, I this was the mission that made me change. I'd been scoring them all again on the same five star rating uh, as for the Dark Project 20th anniversary competition, and then I realised this this mission just, I couldn't I couldn't keep doing that because if I use my five star rating, if I just like put what do I feel about this mission overall as a kind of. Uh, marker, I'm going to need lock picks. then it got a really low score, right? Because it was incredibly frustrating to play in many ways um, in that first time through. It was a lot of not fun in amongst some really compelling atmospheric bits. So it broke that single scoring system, so I said, alright, well, this, I guess that's why they suggest you can also, um... Use a, uh... Three different rankings. Atmosphere, story, and gameplay, which is just... Weird categories, I... Don't really... Not the categories I've chosen if I was going to choose a ranking system personally, but good enough. Um... And yeah, this one was... Hello. I think I missed that last time. This one was such... Is so strong in... You know, the... Hard to quantify... Atmosphere... Department. That, uh... I gave it a 10. Well, I gave it a 10 and then I realized... You know, 10 was only the maximum. I gave it an 11 out of 10 for Atmosphere. Wait, is that everybody inside here? Well, it's not everything inside here. Is there something up there? Um, so yeah, it was very hard to think, but on gameplay, I gave it a low score because there is loot there indeed. Nice. Because it was really so frustrating and difficult to play on gameplay terms. Um, I'm going to come down there later. I don't think I need to go down there just now. Is there anything up above now? Can't go there. No loot. I'm a little lost. Turned about. Is that a paper boat somebody's made? Not sure what that's supposed to be. That's the bill. It's the uh, play. The playbill. The theater playbill. But I don't know. I don't quite know what the shape is supposed to be. It doesn't look like a crumpled piece of paper very much. It's not very crumpled. Take that there. Uh. Who keeps a flare? I guess it's for lights in the fire. Who keeps a flare across a fireplace? Like, answer my own question. Right, did I explore out here? Oh, this is this weird place. Very weird place. Um, yeah, so I gave a low score for story and a low score for gameplay, but the best possible score I could give it for um, atmosphere, because it really blew it out of the park on that, like, more than any other mission in this entire contest. The only other one that came close in terms of what I consider atmosphere, which is 
not just does this feel oppressive, but does it feel compelling and unique as well as oppressive? Does it what can I perceive of the goals it's trying to do in that area and how well does it achieve those goals? Um, was the what's it called? The Builder's Paradise, right? Is the other one I gave a high score for atmosphere. Well, let's dive. Hi, Cray Man. Okay, don't get stuck here. There's more, more air here if you need it. I'm not sure there's a point in coming here. Oh, I didn't notice those bubbles there before. I guess that's a hint at, at the air that is through here. Okay, this isn't going to be any use to me just now. That's another way in. I forget how, where, how I get there, but... Um, so yeah, blows out of the park and atmosphere and general oddness. You've probably got some loot in there with you, don't you? Is there nothing in here for me? Okay. Whatever. <sighs> but on story, everything's so disjointed. On gameplay, everything is kinda ramped up to the max. Um... I couldn't pick a single score I felt happy with. Oh, that's where the guy was asleep, right? I came through that window. That means, I think, I have explored everything except the bottom floor, which I'll come back to later. Or did I not? Did I check this room? Yes, I did. There's that, but there's no point going through there. When I can come through here. Alrighty. I think. I need a key. Oh, yeah, there's. Can even keep there. Alright, so we're ready to go out of the mansion. Back onto the streets, finally. I know, wrong goal. <laughs> um, wait, it was out here, wasn't it? It was out here. Yeah, out here. Mate, wait, no. Yeah, out. This one. Alright, let's save it here instead. Sir, the merchants have been evacuated and took shelter inside your mansion. Now I need to wait for this conversation because it triggers some objectives. All right, have your men patrol the ward and be on the lookout for anyone suspicious. I want every stolen caravan guarded, and don't let your men's grubby fingers touch anything. I hear one story about a missing ware or a looted money box, and it's not your salary I'll cut, but your ears. Yes, sir. And another thing, the Eastern Ambastrix mustn't know of this. Make it look like it's a training exercise. And if blood has to be shed, let it be far from under my windows. And make sure that no commoners get in the upper floors with a golden eggs are on display. Builders gold. Why today of all days? As you wish, sir. Okay, yes, yeah, so now we get look gold, golden egg, blah blah blah. Everything else is the same. So now there's a bunch of people wandering around here. I don't really have good body hiding places, so I guess I'll take it back into the mansion. Do you have an arrow in your, in your backpack? Doesn't look like you do. 
But uh, let's check. Nope, you don't. I get why auto search bodies was added. Because it was definitely awkward to search bodies often once you knock them out. But I don't like it myself. I do definitely prefer to have it off. Um, it's also one of the things that's it's very simple script that uh, I did experiment with putting it with. Come out where I can stay. Ah, you and your metal grates. That's just nasty. Something there. What? I don't like this at all. Don't close the door in my face. I don't like that either. Oh look, they've got the lantern on the head. All right. You can join your friend here. We can just clean this place out nicely and it'll be a lot less trouble than it was last time I played. Tiny little baby grates. Why are you standing there? I don't know. Why is this pipe leaking water? Boiling water, I guess. I don't know. Don't know if it means anything. It's not really. How can you miss those targets at that range? But you have some arrows for us. Not those quivers, they're just on for display purposes. And you have some loot for us. Does this move? I don't know. Maybe not, probably not. No hidden switches, right? At least not in obvious places, all right. This is, we're at the western end, so this is uh, rope arrows if needed, right? But he didn't have rope arrows, did he? I think he just had ordinary broadheads there for us. Only there were rope arrows. So there's at least two people wandering around here. There's the rich guy. There's someone here. Was he about to put some money in that box? Or what? Or was he getting stuff out of it? He was doing his script. He was closing it. I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious as to what's supposed to happen there. Hmm. It must have been rats. How repulsive. Does he just open it and close it? Repeatedly. Yes, sir. Not a very interesting script then. But an interesting carrot, I'll take it. As guard, I should watch out for them. There's Rich Dude, who apparently causes some trouble for knocking out. If you hit him on the head, because you might hit the things attached to him or something, I don't know. Or maybe it's maybe it's actually if he gets alerted he can't get knocked out properly or something weird. So where does this guard go? Is it archer? No, swordsman. Just back and forth, okay. What's that? Ah! <laughs> 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 Mm. 
take advantage of the momentary distraction. Okay. Ma'am, are you alright? You sure? Oh, I don't want that, I want that. And you can go sit in the corner over here. Right, I think the streets are pretty clear now. Broken statue bits. All these empty boxes, nobody's got any money. Uh, right, so what are, what are we trying to do? Trying to get to the lockpicks, so we've got to go to the underground aqueducts, which is back where we started. Um, which is cool, we can, we can certainly go there. Better finish searching the streets first. And... There's a way up there somewhere. Where are we here? Is this back at the start? No, not quite. Oh, this goes back to the, back to the start. Okay. Oh, hello. Can I get in those windows? Maybe with difficulty. Oh well, it didn't hurt. Let's jump on the lamppost. I guess I'll make it easier. I don't remember this place. Upon the Kratia or the Rule of Harlots. We can get in from that side as well. Oh no, I have been here. Okay. Last time I played, I mean. Crate if I wish to do stacking, which I do not. All right, um, so let's go out the way I came so I don't get lost. Then this is just about where we started. I don't know if it's possible to get there. There are some hidden places around. If you look up and climb in the right places, but uh, I don't remember many of them. And as long as it's just loot, I'm not too bothered. If it's flagged as objectives, I, I would be bother. Speed potion. Yes, yeah, so that's that window. All right, now. Feels like getting up there might be sort of possible, but it's not that overhang. I don't think it's. I don't think it's intended, even if it's possible. Is this one also a death trap? No, it's not marked as deadly. Good to know. Right, let us go across to... Oh, hello. Don't miss the flute. To this window box, which uh, was a death trap of trying to rope into it before, but if I don't try and rope into it, it's also a death trap. If I... Well, if I strafe jump, I should be able to make it. Yeah, well, not if I do it like that. <laughs> not if I go on the ledge instead of the window box. There we are. Oh great, there's a guard that comes in here. I think. Well, maybe, maybe not on normal.
Yeah, they're upstairs. Hello. Show yourself. Nothing making noise now. There's a safe there, right? I'm sure, there's a switch to open it. Somewhere. That's a safe. The bookshelf, no. Under this desk. Yes, but uh, more noisy floors. This is of course exactly what we want. All right, that's right. There's a secret way out of here as well, or a secret way in here. <laughs> Whichever way you prefer to think of it. I forget where this goes there. All right, yeah, this is uh, just. The room that we could see that we're not, we're not get into. Just have some more broadheads. And, uh. Let's let us open the gate. It's a pretty odd little. passage. It's not even a room, really. Very strange. Again, architecturally, this is one of the strangest missions I played in terms of crampedness. The only one that was similarly cramped and confined that I can remember was um, yeah, didn't see you there. Sorry. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. One of the Dark Project twentieth anniversaries. There he is. The one with the, the sealed quarter. Okay. Might wait till you go back there and stand there again. Although it was much more squarish, this one is, has a lot more ang angles that I can see. But, so while I, I don't think the, uh, give me your arrow, man, give me your arrow. I don't really think the, uh, architecture style here works at all for mansions. Like, this doesn't feel palatial, it feels cramped, and most of the houses feel really weird. But it works super well in the, uh... The down below areas, the uh, the weird, strange, odd areas. All right, so now I'm going to get the line about. I'm going to come back with lockpicks. Mm, I can't pick this lock without my equipment. Okay, so we need lockpicks, and but not to get down. Hello, there's the switch. I knew it was here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything in that that's relevant for the mission. Well, I'll leave that there. We'll probably need it later. Okay. So we'll need to come back to the mansion later. I forgot that we needed lockpicks first. I was going to say, going to put it off. But nope. We will need lockpicks. I wonder if I can get up there. Oh. Can't stand on that, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, too far over. Doesn't reach far enough. I think that's outside the hitbox. I'll reload this. And it's also too far over. Let's just try one right over here. But I don't think it'll work. Yeah, not nearly far enough. I think that's outside the map. I don't think we're supposed to get up there. But you never really know this. In a mission, it's this where the architecture is this convoluted. All right, well, we're gonna need lockpicks, so we better go look at lockpicks. Uh, I came the long way, didn't I? That's right. Yep, that was just talks a lot. Well, now I have a sword for all the good it's going to do me. At least I can cut banners down. Right, so that's that window. Is there anywhere else up here that maybe you can get to? He's, he's just spinning like a top. Every like second. Get those hands up or I'm gonna uh. Yeah, I didn't really want to wake everyone up. So it pivots to faces away, then left, then forward, then right, and then away. Who's there? Speak up. Oh well, whatever that was. Almost got me, but didn't quite see me. It's good enough. Loot. Now we can see where everyone is. But mostly I just kind of want to clear the place out. Hello. Don't mind me, sir. Are you just standing still watching? Not turning around at all. Oh, there's somebody coming from that side, I think. Two. Two. Well, this is convenient for me, isn't it? I think I should let them go. Where did he go? Are you, you topper? Who knows? What a mystery. He jumps into the toilet. Where could he have gone? Well, if this is Gloomwood, I would be in the sewers by now, right? Where did he go? <sighs> oh, 
this. Oh, it's not working very well. Alright, let's try again. I guess I can flash bomb him. I've got flash bombs. I don't really have another use for them. I've got three flash bombs. Let's just use one. Stay where you are! I am Didn't alert those other two, did you? No, good. You, maybe you should go into the toilet, you know? It's a fun, fun place for everybody. Come on, you can, you can fit there. Have fun down there. It's, uh, a place of joy. Now, I'm not sure if there's been any point finishing clearing this place out, because I know new guards spawn uh, later on in the mission, but I kind of want to. There's a way in there, too. I don't know what it is. Are those two coming back or not? Sounds like they're coming this way. Oh no, maybe they're going the long way around. So, I mean, the main reason I did this was to get back to the, the place underneath the underground, but uh, while I'm here, I might as well finish looting this area, right? I can't load. Maybe I need lockpick for some of it. I don't know. All right, I can move. Let's. let's... Already. Look at this wooden beams, aren't they suspicious? So anyone keeps anything on them. You know, people store like store stuff. Hello, invisibility potion. Okay. People like to use random wooden beams as storage. I need uh, keys for that. Are there any other windows and stuff I can get into here? This that looks like a place, but you'd need vine arrows to get in there. Lots of these little overhanging ledges. It's very hard to judge. That's a non-door. That just that texture. Very hard to judge what's meant as a door and what's not. And it's weird that you get like you know these big stone towers and this building kind of clipping into the stone of the other building. All very odd. Appropriately. I wasn't even saying that as a joke, I only realised it was appropriate and Uh But how do we get into this building? There's a place in there. I can't go. Can't mantle that, maybe. But, uh, don't really see any sign of a way up into that portion of the map. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll become apparent later. Maybe not. Oh, what's this place? So, that was bloody pearly. 
bleeding, Polly. <laughs> you disgust me. Did she say why her whole gang was here? She and her boys were looking for a git to settle a score. Black hood, dark blue coat, one weird eye, and... Come on. I'm not really enjoying it, and you know it. Save that horse shit for the confessional. We'll look out for that fellow then. That will be one less creep to worry about. You, you stay here and think how to write that on your report without sounding like a beast. All right. She's staying here as well. Oh, there's a door there. Okay, I completely missed this doorway uh, last week's play, I think. Well, it's not. A... I thought it lit up when I looked into the kitchen. Oh, there's Show eye... yourself. There's no eyeballs. skulking. Those are eyeballs, okay. Uh -huh. Cool, I guess. Hmm, maybe it was rats. Rats would be a bit of meat now and then. So they cut out. He cut out this guy's eyeballs. Okay. <sighs> see, and I thought I thought the cloud of flies was around that guard. Now, if you see me, can you actually give me? About. Halt! You are under arrest. Okay, you can get out of there. Otherwise, you path out and find me. I get stuck here. What am I stuck on? Oh, ready to die! Ow, ow, ow. Sorry, I was stuck. I didn't mean to get within sword range. It would be foolish to do so. Anything to grab? Oh, there's somebody. Somebody underneath all that, too. Okay. Who's there? No oh, well. I hear you. Yeah, you can hear all you want. Alright, so I missed that conversation last time I played, but it doesn't enlighten me much. See, there seems like there's supposed to be a way in here as well. Doesn't even have a lever on the other side. Alright, um. What the hell? I'm just going to ring the gong. You are not my friend. Firstly, you shouldn't be a leader. This should have done you in one. Or not. not He's got a riot shield. Great. And I can't knock him out. Also great. Look, there's already blood on the ground there. It can be from your corpse. I don't have an objective not to kill people, so I will happily deal with them accordingly when the occasion calls. Alright, so I can go back there and get back to the sewers. Oh, it's the factory guy I'm hearing. Or is there someone in here? There's something here. What are you doing here? Where did all these people suddenly appear from? Oh, I've got rip arrows now, so I can actually go up here. Well, I think you can get in there from over this other way.
There's someone clearing their throat. Alright, so there's this place. Chessman. Alright, I need the block pick for that. Let's go back to the start. Oh, hey. He's closing up the sewers. That's cool. Look at it. He's got welding torch. He's got a tank on his back. He's got a little goggle stuff. That's. I mean, well, his nozzle gas mask. That's really cool. I mean, of course, the assessments will float like randomly when I pick them up, but you know. design but unfortunately he sealed off our way back into the sewers so we can't get in from this side. Uh, more grinding gears. Wait hang on. Anything underneath? No I think so. Slightly too cramped and hard to move. So okay let's try the Okay, up this way then. Is there some wood? I think it's a wood. Yeah. Why would you have a fancy building above a uh, sewer maintenance that was wide open to it? Uh, da, da, da. 20 demi hours look. Learn to walk from station to station. Quest to trust his own creativity. Yeah. Completely missed this place last time I played, so uh, At least as far as I can recall. Oh, hello. Did I not see this window? I mean, it's a pretty easy window to see, but. Uh, Maybe it's to get to? Yeah, because it's a slidey roof here. Easy to see, but you can't really get in that way. You need to move in. Cool. Uh, nothing else in here, I think. Don't think that's a place. Alright, factory. There is somebody still in the factory. There's possibly somebody up at the walkway there. that one. It's the log factory. I did, I forgot to come in here before. But I guess there's nothing. Is it exit at the end of the mission? Is there anywhere to go before then? Hmm. It looks kind of like a place up there. Oh, there's the one. Let's just go through the factory here. Oh, hey. That's kind of convenient. Up here, but apparently not. There used to be somebody up here, but there isn't anymore. Okay, that's fine. That's cool by me. Means I can steal this bottle with art interference. Hello, loose brick. Take that. And there's nothing else out here that 
repairs will let me get to that I couldn't get to before, right? No. Just... Okie dokie. Smashed windows. Doesn't look like any more places to be. So I guess it's time to go, uh... How do you have an anchor here in the middle of town? Wait, how do I get in there? I can grab that water arrow through the window. Maybe there's not a way in, maybe that's all there is to go. Alright. No, chilling spot. It is up this way. Let's go back to the bathrooms. Let's go to the underground aqueducts. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice conceptual structure. Oh, this is really bad. This is, this is... It's very hard to get off it safely once you open the thing. So you have to be quick. And I've got to grab the ropes. So let's try that again. Do it like that. Wait till it opens and you risk falling to your death as you try to get on the ladder. Uh, another bad bit of gameplay, but uh, whatever. Um, nice conceptual picture for the mission to take you through the same place three times. You know, but you grab. Hello, Boosty. But having you grab um, first. First time you grab What am I saying? First time you grab rope arrows then uh getting your lockpicks and opening up new passages and new areas to loot. I mean, you know, it's Metroidvania stuff. Pretty standard in like, games, but not very common to but quite nice. Oh hey, flat bomb, thanks. Um Good concept, which it doesn't. I don't know if it quite works. The one up. You need lockpicks. And uh, here we are back in this place. And now I can pick this lock. And get back into this room. Which, that is now sealed off as well. So I guess it's people doing the works to seal off the sewers going in the underground aqueducts. Yeah. According to that memo right at the beginning of the mission. Who knows? About this baddies in here. Go with the lights on my heads. Where'd you? I want a piece of you. Give me a second. I'm trying to find my flash bombs here. I forgot what the hook key is. You can go there. Well, oh, right through there. Fence, huh? No. I'll find you soon enough. You can join your friend. Now, there's at least one more, I think, in this area. Guarding a place. Do not block the emergency exit. That's quite thorough. Yeah, he's up there. Uh, yeah. Bro, 
the dark in here. Now oh, they just shoved all the heavenly stuff here and the old priest in here. They did, they hung the banner though, that's quite quite good going. I think you can get around behind him. So what about you? What do you think you're doing? I'm dying. You better just keep watching your back. Hey, where's this guy? Anyway, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get hurt there. So. I guess it was nothing. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's running away. Too many damn rats around here. Hmm. I thought I heard something. Right, problem solved. I wonder, did you die if I throw you in the, into the bottomless pit? Oh, you didn't go into the bottomless pit. Alright, now use the store go. Oh, anyway, this is what I guess. I don't. Statue room. More kicks, kicks hammer stuff. Oh, yeah, that's a great man. His message. Get out of here. Take the stairs. Okay. Um. Right. I checked that room. I didn't check this room. Probable mushroom. Nothing else. Now. Did I check this way. I don't think I did. Okay, that's the way forward. So, what, what was this door you were guarding? Wasn't even locked. Guess why? Why lock a door if it's guarded, right? Didn't see me. Just reload that. Not for a really good reason. Oh dear. I'm back here. Did I? It's just before I did this door. Yep. Alright, let's do this door again. I will explain in a second why I had to reload that. Because it seemed like a good idea at the time. I mean, but apart from that, it seemed like a very good idea at the time. Not a door. There's nothing absolutely in there. So, if I grab the water arrow, what I wanted to see is, well, this, do these scales actually work, right? They're obviously weighing out this spice on scales, but no, the scales are at zero, and I pick it up. I was hoping that it went, that the lever would have gone down, and I just missed it, but sadly not. Attention to detail, people. This, this spice doesn't weigh nothing. It weighs something. That's more than nothing. Significantly more than nothing. So lighting on this weird or is just, it's just just weird. It's a ladder that falls if as soon as you climb on there. That is a nice touch. Um, right, so now we go into the odd, into this private section. Where I think this is where we find the dead person at the table and the creepy eyes again. There's creepy eyes again. The burden shows itself anew to violate my sanctum once more. <sighs> yep, we violate your sanctum once more. You know, with with intent this time, with uh, murderous intent. 
Uh, despawning, desummonous attempt. In the name of the covenant sworn by my flesh, I call to thee, foul pit beasts, and order thee to turn this burgess to wine and make a house of his bones. Calling on the pit, pit beast. Okay, that's bad for me. The pit beast is uh, not my friend. Okay, so first thing we have this flow. It would actually be more creepy if he was completely invisible rather than just somewhat invisible. But he can be knocked out quite easily. I don't know if it's intentional or not. But I'm not going to complain. I wonder if he, I wonder what, if he does anything special and dies. Nah. Just makes uh, what's you call it noises. Loud. It wasn't what I was looking for. Um, apparition noises. Okay, so I can go this way. More creepy eyes. Is there anything up on this shelf? For some reason I thought there was. But I'm wrong. I can hear the uh, strange monster. Dead rat, healing potion. Uh, blah blah blah, bone chest, human body, replication from bones. Yeah, I don't think it tells me anything. It's just, uh... Cream and soup. Tasty. Just a bit of loot. And a good spot from which to view the, uh, the beastie. When he turns up. What? I can't even really make out what models it's made of. I wonder if it uh, could be flashed. Is it coming back? I can't tell if the flashing I'm seeing there is just lights flashing up whether it's, it's limbs flashing as it walks around. Oh, here it comes. Well, it clearly does suffer from... Uh, flash bombs. No, I had some mines last time I was here as well. Where I got them. All right, well, let's reload that. I don't want it. I don't want it on the alert. Uh, do you want to? There was a readable somewhere about its summoning or desummoning or both. I'm pretty sure it's possible to get rid of it. But I don't recall exactly. Hello. Is that there? It's a person. An ordinary guard person. Or maybe a tiny one, actually. It's hard to say if that's forced perspective or not. Yeah. Alright. Let's leave him. I think it's just there. He's just there to look at. 
Flash bomb, we'll gladly take that. And this valuable stuff. Ah, maybe this was the one. Yes, this is the first person of Smabber. Blah blah blah. Caco demons. Nameless gods. So how to do it. How to invoke it is oh, gives men power, discover which is blah 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 blood sacrifice. The place of summoning shall be deep within the earth, far from the stars. Soil must be dark and cold. Bronze brazier must be prepared and filled with mirror and black lotuses. Well, and a bread must be baked with cinders from the pyre and blood of untranslatable. So there's a bronze brazier filled with mirror and black lotus soil. Bread baked with cinders from a pyre and blood. I guess that's why there was an oven. Magus shall trace the seal of the ship of the in the soil with fire salt, and the bread must be burned in the bronze brazier. Okay, so there's bread to be burned. It's a weak and idiot guard. <laughs> keys brings death for he who became a magus of the ship of spawn and must live beneath painted stars the keys constellation. See, all that feels like it's telling me something. So there's a bunch of vision, right? Maybe. All that feels like it's telling me something about this beast that I should know about, should be able to deal with. But what exactly it's telling me, I don't know. Oops. Let me see the nose off. Oh, hey, we're up here. That's right, we can pick all these again. This was the one with the uh, demonic presence at unsafe levels, which I think is a line from Doom 2016 Doom. Which is a strange kind of easter egg to put in a mission that kind of takes the vibe away. This is the death trap room. What's this for system? Shambling monsters. Wooden monsters. This is the door of surprise. La. Fire system shelf. And nothing more. Oh, I know what those footsteps are. It's the uh, the invincible creature through here that is. I think I can knock him out. No, can I knock him out? Maybe I can't knock him out. Maybe I can. Knock him out. Maybe he's not even. I don't know. Yeah. Unfortunate. It's a noisy floor too, isn't it? Yeah. Straight. So I don't remember what I need from his place. If anything. That's where the mines were. A nice pool of blood. I don't think you can sort of down here so that I can. Safely wait from here. Mm. 
Oh, you know, that's more good gameplay is putting out. Invincible monster. In a place with uh, lots of. Tile floor. Now, does he see me here? Yep, he sees me here. Can we get me? Oh, he's actually lost sight of me. Right. No, I forgot that his place was connected to here because I could come, could have come that way. Kind of gets stun locked by his own traps. Which is kind of funny. Maybe he plugs out entirely. No, but anyway, he's not my problem anymore. I got the key. Sanctuary key, that's one. Here again. So there were a couple of doors. Well, mostly I needed it for the actual exit from this place. But I might need it for something else. I'm not sure. What was there here? Pick. Yeah. Creepy looking corpse. Are you actually made of wood? You're not made of anything. More dudes. Alright, here's what the sanctuary key is good for. So this will let me out. I think. It'll also take me back through. I wonder if I can kill that. A zombie AI, right? Including the standing back up, yeah. Haha. Haha. -ha. I can get out from here, you can't. Haha. -ha. Well, if I don't get stuck on plants? That's weird. Alright, um. But there's still that shapeless spawn to deal with, right?
Okay, so let me make another hard save. That's a good spot. So we have a way out now. We have. Is this the bronze brazier? I don't know. I mean, there's stars, right? Under the stars. We'll go see if we can find the stars. We have the beast. A rough beast slouching here. Is there any wood that I can use to make a rope? There he is. In order to get up and down. I mean, there's a cargo. Come back here and I can kind of get out this way, right? Now, these hammers are usually destructive. I wonder if that will kill a beast. The answer, of course, is going to be no. Well, I kind of want to wait for the beast to come and go back so I can follow it and get into a patch of darkness. Waiting is always the most tedious part, and I have. Oh no, I haven't run out of coffee. Now I have run out of coffee. Well, beastie. There he is. Comes and goes. Quiet on the mechanism. It's not actually that fast. It's big and noisy, but it's not that fast when it's not alert. Shoot, that was lucky. So it goes in there. Do I need anything from there? I don't think so. Oh wait, there's the old door there. We should have, should have a key for now, right? I can't. I can't make out what it's. I mean, there's some eyeballs. Yeah. Above that, nice. it's really freaky. Wait, do I not? Oh, maybe I can pick the lock? Where does this go then? Oh, hello. One loaf. This uh, summoning circle has glyphs coming up out of it. It's probably dangerous, right? So I didn't find this. I didn't actually come here the last time. It's an uh, interesting one. So now I have a loaf. If I burn this in the oven. I shit my pants when he walks into me. It opens up that way. So what I need to do? Burn it? I don't know. That's a shitty out. No, not... Eat it? Eat it for a second, I'll change you do use. Alright, let's reload because I meant to drop it. <laughs> like, here's this magic loaf made out of blood and fire and stuff, right? What do you do with it, Garrett? Whoa, oh, I'm done. Hmm.
No, maybe I don't burn it. Don't see me. Mr. Monster Dude. I don't think the bread is burning here. Ah, oh, you did see me. Oh yes, he's definitely got eyeballs there. He's got something that's growing and shrinking. It's like he's got one giant foot. Um, do you want some bread? What if I eat the bread? Now you obey me, right? No? No, he doesn't obey me after I eat the bread. Alright, do I have the loaf here? Can't remember which save is which, yes. Got the loaf. Um, so what do we bread? I don't remember what I said. Alright, we need to go that way, where he's just gone, but we need to wait for him to go that way for us. Or I guess, stay in the shade of There's, oh, there's another brazier here. Maybe I'll put it in there. This one looks fancy and important, right? Next door. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't seem to have done anything. Still marauding about. There's a room there. I don't know if I can get in there. I don't know what's through the passage he's going in, so I'll pick up my loaf and check it out shortly when he goes back. Aha, uh -huh, this looks kind of significant. This feels like a safe spot. Does he actually come in here or not? Yeah, he does. Okay. Uh, bouncing bread. Made out of flipper. High velocity bread. Oh, it's losing its flotsam now. It's getting in again. Oh, bounce. Oh. Random velocity bread. That's interesting and not at all what I expected. Okay. Right, I'm going to quick load again because I think I just alerted the beast by mistake. Also, maybe it's just ordinary bread. Is ordinary bread labeled loaf or labeled bread? I don't know. I have some explorations to do. deal with this place. Glass tools. Switches. Stay away from my face, thief, he says. Well, you know, that's easy enough to do. Oh, 
Ah, uh, this enemy. I missed it last time I played, but uh, saw it when Fen was playing. It's hilarious. It's kind of kind of creepy, but mostly just hilarious. Like being chased by an enormous stone face is like it's like being chased by any one of the Easter Island statues or something. Oh hello. Is this where I burn the bread? Or is this just a fireplace? Where's my bread? Do I put I mean, I don't know if burning the bread is the right thing to do, right? I wasn't really reading. Oh, hello. Did you see me, did you? Yeah, he did. Alright, well, let's turn the lightning. I guess I can just put it out. No, that's not putting it out. Oh, he comes there. That's how he saw me. Okay. Where does this go? This is new. Whoa, is that a super fast door? Very super fast. Necronomicon, scars over, more mover. Okay. That doesn't tell me much. Oh, hello. It's a ghost that uh, jumped in there and died, I guess. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't follow. Um, maybe there is no way to dispatch this fell beast and we just find all this mysterious stuff that cannot be explained. Right, so we need to come over here because there's uh, stuff in there too. Here comes our beastie friend. I thought he'd seen me again. God damn it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Alright. This is deadly, but also kind of fun. <laughs> it's a uh, gravity pool. Let's get some here. It's laughing and drinking. see me here, right? He's just going there. Okay, he's gone back. Tom. Take a stick, come on. <laughs> oh, 
Why does it look like there's something in the ground there? No, what happens if I put out that thingy there? Straight from the camera guy. Ground down this wooden. Nothing. It does not get put out. All right. So, guess I leave. Maybe there's something else we discovered down here. Does this place, does this mission even have secrets? Should check stats. Zero out of zero. It does not. All right, I guess I'll just leave. We have found the way out already. We could also go back to. Where we started. I could get out this way, I think. Oh no, there's no way out. There's no way in. Oops. Get up there. Oh, that wasn't the way out. Where was the way out? Up here? He is bugged. Oh, I think he's got the zombie bug. Is this door? <gasps> no, it's not way out. Um... Hello guys. No, that wasn't the way out either, was it? Was it down here? No, that was just the way to the place with the notes. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to, before leaving, kind of want to look up the forum thread. Because I know somebody asked the question there, is it possible to banish the Thing, the hideous thing, I don't know what they call it. I call it the hideous thing. And, uh, I'm kind of curious about the answer, so you know what? I'm actually just going to check that now. I'm just going to go and check the answer. In the forums. Because it'd be useful to know if, if there is possible and I just missed it or those are confusing me. Um,. It's worth looking at while I'm here, because I'm about to be out and just finishing the mission very shortly to get the golden egg. Uh, someone says, I managed to lure it into the misty pool inside the temple. I just jumped from side to side and eventually it fell in. Not sure if that was the intended method. Um... Two people asked, is it possible to banish, defeat the spawn, and there was no answer each time. Well, I mean, apparently this is possible to uh, 
to Supreme Ghost, at least partly, because Glad Remus was doing it. Alright, well. Stuck on that thing again. Let's us uh, ascend to safetytude. At least relative safetytude. There'll be more guards, but uh, here we come to the room with daylight and birds. We were up there before. The room that feels safe and comforting. It's all uh, nonsense. Um, what do you know? We're in sorcerer's basement again. Golden Child and the strangely mechanist spider beast. Spider bot. Which doesn't really make sense. That was a suppose. Too close for comfort. <laughs> oh look, they're sticking the wall. I never noticed that before. They actually shoot razor discs. Come on, shut down, camera. Can't see me anymore. Maybe it's thought it could see me. Come on, light them down. I don't want to have to do silly things here. Alright. Now I'm out of the turret range. It can take its time shooting down. Just be careful of it. Alright. So this is the lower area. Ah, oh, it's just a rope out of there. Oh, another fruit. Oh, another heart. <laughs> okay, she's down there, finally. Yeah, you're annoyed by me. I would be too. Keep chittering. This is what I call chittering port, right? What else do you have here that's, that's it's not going to uh, catch me by surprise quite so heavily? Oh, this is doorway. Alright, so now we're back in his house with new guards. Right, there's new guards everywhere now. And also, we have loot picks now. So there's at least two locked doors in here, right? If I remember correctly, from the last time. Uh, mm hmm. Yeah. So that was the professor of ancient languages who was leaving notes like untranslatable. I guess. Maybe there'll be bones to throw down there or something as well, I don't know. It feels like, it definitely feels like there's hints at some bigger story, but it's too hard to see. Well, there's a picture of Karis. This doesn't feel like the same universe that Mechanist exists in, except this guy has Mechanist uh, machinery. Right, so where's the way out? 
Wait, there's at least one other locked door on it. I just said that. Well, at least two, because there's this one and there's... There was a big wide one. Wait, where is this? Is this the street? No. Where is this incredibly narrow hallway? Oh, this is the other side of that. Okay. Why does it even exist? It seems very odd. What does that even do? Maybe that lets Grimman out. Let's go see, huh? Let's go see if that lets Mr. Grimman out. Nope. I was hoping to sing that tiger poem, but with Grey Man it's dead. You know. The Grey Man, he's escaped his cage. Yes, yes, the Grey Man is out. No, nope, maybe that's just meant to use the tap and it doesn't actually do anything else. Alright. Lots of food. Two more crates. Light switch. Guess be useful at night, it's not very useful right now. Bowl, strings of sausages, various non valuable stuff. A ladder up there. Oh, where does this go? Strange underground pantry. With the strange underground lair. With strange underground apples and another flash bomb. Oh, hello. Have I been out here before? I think seven. The water. Pool of water doesn't ring a bell. It's like a whole other part of the. Oops. Well, I guess I can't get out back up that way. Whole other area I have not been to. I mean, I don't know how big it is. Uh, you don't look healthy for me to be hanging out near. So I won't. <laughs> Any other than water arrow in here? Yes. One coin. <clears throat> Is that you, Kevil? Looks like you got a bit wet, my boy. Who? <clears throat> Where was the keeper saying I got a bit wet? Uh, hmm. Wait, I'm sure I, I must have come this way last time, though. I remember reading that. That's. Anything up there? Lots of rubble at him on my screen in my own head. Anything else? No, just, just rubble. Lots of rubble. You could call me a uh, rubble rouser. Oh, another book. Um, a bed. And a nice little loft. Whatever, those are things. I'll take those. Right, okay, so this does get to there as well. So I can easily get back to the main part of town. Question is... Can we get back in there? Uh, maybe if I climb up on this lamppost. No, if, if I fall off it. Yeah, sorry. So I didn't go up to this lift. Just, yeah, it is just an ordinary life, I guess. 
It's like being baked with monster guts or whatever. Well, this is a very weird place to discover so late in the mission when, you know, all the terrifying stuff is over. All that's left is going to the mansion and collecting a bit of loot. It's 3702, right? Collecting a bit of loot in the golden egg and it's like, why are you suddenly giving me all this new area and all this new stuff? Progression is odd. Everything's kind of odd. Everything's kind of into the odd, you know? And out of the odd. Out of the ordinary. So there's a... Oh, I hear another person. Are you standing in the fireplace? That's very dangerous for your health. But you're not the one I heard coughing. I mean, if you'd been standing just a little bit to the right, you would have been uh, seriously injuring yourself. Who goes there? Oh, it's. Hey, you got a problem, mate? I think his cigar stopped him from... Ah, I always do that. From chasing me properly. Ah, you could burn your face if you're not careful, mate. Alright, where was the big door? Yeah. There was a big wide door that locked, was it here? No, that's not a door. Maybe it was through. That's outside. It's an alarm. Oh, maybe it was upstairs. Do you have new guards upstairs as well? Because it'd be kind of annoying if you did. Uh, that's the garden. Oh, let's 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 not forget to steal this loot, huh? In the nice, convenient loot cupboard, which you could. Really, be able to just feels like you just stick your arm through quite easily. Uh, Garrett's arms are too muscly. This was the way it ends. Oh, Here we are. Should note for unlock it. It's a window. We can have a peek. Oh, it's just a bedroom. Let's see. It is wide enough for a mechanist combat bot to fit through. You know. I've already seen that this guy likes mechanist machinery. Some more loot. Evil banner. Evil vent that is apparently not doesn't open, does it? Hmm. Nope. An evil note. Uh confident uh, police distrust in the armorers. Oh. I just feel like I might have read this before. I'm not sure. I might. I can't. I can't remember whether it's something I read uh, when I was playing before, or whether I forgot to come back here and I just saw it in Fen's playthrough. Either is possible. All right. I think that was all the doors that I had left to to deal with. Did I? Ah, what's over? So, down. Not that way, that's what it says. Evil banner, must die! Those ones are okay, they're allowed to live. Uh, all we gotta do is go get the golden egg. So, that means find our way out of this accursed maze again. It's out here by the alarm lights. I think there might be new guards on the streets. Out here, perhaps. 
Oh. Definitely are out that way. But that's not the way of the golden egg. Whatever. It's not an egg. Alright, now we can try attempt this jump again. And fail it again. And succeed this time. And pick the locks to get up to the top. Oh, 13 mutt hours, wow, okay. I guess my complaint about the locks tile floor it's kind of irrelevant when there's actually remarkably generous s supply of moss ants and I've just been using them. I don't remember where I got all of them and when I had them and when they would have been most useful, but it's not. It's not actually too little. You know, I've got some music just for you. That's a uh, two priests, I think. Yeah, well, priestesses. Oh. Um, seven with a candle. Not visible in that chandelier. Say again, who's there? I hear you. Don't think you'll escape. Oh, there's a guard. Okay, we've got cells for people like you. Cells? You're not a you're you're an ordinary mansion Come guard. Fight me. Okay, as you wish. Wow, I mean props to the servant girl, she's managed to keep the candle upright and relatively safe even when unconscious. That's takes remarkable skill and dedication. Okay, so it's a golden egg there with a force field. And I walk through here, and I can tip off. Just before I do, I think there was some loot on this table, maybe? Food. They're gone. Announced to everybody that we're here stealing the golden egg. This will make a nice little bonus. And we're ready to uh, get out of here, I think. Everything done. Just need to go back the way we came and find our way to the escape point. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, well, that worked. Now, there are some new guards that have respawned, but there shouldn't be too much of a hassle, right? There's an archer in this room. Right there. I wonder if I can knock him out, if he's got loot. Let's just wait for him to come back and I'll double around behind him.
Right, man, my arm is getting tired. Here he is. He doesn't have loot, but he's easy enough to knock out. More British streams. The gate is still open there, so I don't need to use the leave. There's no one else near there. Which means... Probably relatively safely get down here to this alleyway. Which is the way out. Gone. Probably still missed a ton of loot. Maybe some other stuff. Yeah. 2100, a whole ton of loot. Well, 2121 in the example. 2121. Uh, pockets picked 6 out of 10. But only 10 pick, pick picks in the whole thing? Iron Beast destroyed 1. Yes. Uh, cool. Nothing marked as secrets, which is a surprise. There's definitely lots of hidden areas. Uh, well, I'm glad I revisited that. I didn't manage to... to get rid of the Shambly Beast like I kind of hoped was possible, given all the talk of the summoning and stuff. I just still don't understand a bit of what the story is supposed to be about there. It's all very obscure and random and seems very unrelated to what's happening up on top. Even if there's kind of hints it's not supposed to be, that they're supposed to be related somehow. I don't know. Just... But anyway, that was Into the Odd. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you here sometime later.